And the award for a leading actress in a reality TV role goes to Sinead. Not surprised. Not amused. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the reality guys. I am your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. What's up, everybody? As you can see in the title, we are here to talk The Bachelor. This is episode five of season 26, which I'm going to be referring to as The Roast of Clean. I told Brian that my only positive thing really to say about the episode is that I really did enjoy the roast 90% because they roasted Clayton a ton, not even because of just being mean to him. They were just actually really funny jokes, but it's like I could just use something like that every week to at least get a laugh because the only other laughs I'm getting are at the decisions being made. Yeah, because we need to start questioning Clayton's decision making. I honestly, man, I know like if you watched last week and thank you for everyone who watched, commented, we had an awesome discourse. I honestly thought that was going to be a one week thing. I really did not see her getting past this week. I know they showed the preview of the two on one, but like even before that, I thought that could even been a, like a red herring. Like I'm like, there is no way now in the beginning when they have an entire group of women saying and corroborating all the stories of the women that have you know either gone home already or are still there. And you can tell he there's cat. He, he's always thinking about cameras being there because he's like, well, I do need to see the other side of the story. No, you don't, dude. No, you don't. No, you no. don't. Right, dude. No yeah, one. Twelve true. people are telling you that. Yeah, he. I just I mean, I've said it a couple. I just think he's a sucker. He believes anything he hears. And it looks like next week he, it's going to the same things gonna happen. I don't know if you watched the preview for next. I week. did. I it's did. The exact same thing. He's just a clown. I mean, he's an absolute, he's a shit show. I mean, he literally called himself a clown tonight on Twitter. He said, I haven't taken the pain off in three weeks. It's not funny, man, because the fact of the matter is like, you're not even thinking practically besides it being a show. It's like, if you have all these women telling you they're not comfortable with someone being there and it's not, it's ruining their experience and you still keep that kind of person around, you're really screwing up trying to start a relationship with any of these women. And guess what? We talked about this pre-show. We don't know anything about any of them. We learned about Serene a little bit. We've learned about like th Teddy a little bit in past episodes. We've gotten some suit, but we're not getting I, at this point. I should have favorites past the fact that the trailers have shown us who some of the women are at the end. Like I shouldn't be informed by that. If they didn't have that, there's no way for you to tell a baby outside of Rachel that there's any leaders in the clubhouse. Yeah, I thought last season, like not seeing Leroy was going to be like a thing, but I, we, this whole season is full of Leroy's. I don't know any of them minus uh, like the person I picked. That's the only person I care about. Like, yeah. I don't know anything else about the people besides the people we picked. Yeah. And again, my pick was Genevieve. And now she's involved in this. Like they said, she's collateral damage. Like she's on the front lines taking bullets for this crap. Like, I really think that one of them, like she needs to just tell him, like, I'm not doing this. Like, I'm just not doing this, dude. Just make your decision. Like, if you really want me to dance about this and you think I'm an actress or the crap that you see in the trailer, like, dude, just beat it. Like, just, I don't even want it. And like, I really, again, like last week we called our episode justice for Elizabeth and I like made people know in the comments. I didn't mean that as in like, she needs to be treated better. I was saying that it was her justice that she got to go home. Like, thank God for her. You, this is season 26. I feel like I've been watching this for 26 years. Yeah. I'm really looking for the woman tell all because I'm hopefully by then some of these people won't feel like, like, silenced because they're still on the show like they're off the show maybe they can kind of speak freely about how much of a loser this guy is shanae literally again just to talk about shanae she openly admitted again that she's been preparing her lines this is all calculated nothing's real she did the fake crying after clayton said she has to go apologize she goes and apologizes runs back to the room he's like waiting for her like a parent would do and then like the joke says he open mouth kisses his mom basically yeah it that was an all time joke. Do you kiss your mom with clothes? Yeah, lips incredible, lips? incredible. Like dunked on him. Love it. Love it. Like, again, it this, this whole point, people is like, we're not here to hate. Like, this is not the whole point of the channel. This is not our intention. I know if you see the last few episodes, it seems like that. 
We're just genuinely annoyed. And we know that's not real. We know a lot of it isn't real, but this is going past it where it's like insulting the people watching, like insulting the intelligence and the time. They like to talk about time on The Bachelor a lot. Like, again, we're not going to preach to the choir, but like this is wasted time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two hours a week. And then, you know, we have a three hour one coming in the future. Oh, you know, we got like some three, two, three hours coming at least. Ridiculous, man. Like I could think of so many other things I could be doing besides watching the same shit every week. The only thing I've really learned about Clayton this week besides that stuff is that he's a big fan of trophies. He said something else dumb, too. That Like, again, I've watched with Presley. She's just like, what's this guy? (laughs) What is this guy? It's just... I don't know, man. Like, I, uh, point, yeah, real quick. Do you, at what point do you got to give Shanae a tiny bit of credit that she's just completely, if she's not a plant, just punking Clayton the way she is? I, yeah. And the one thing I will give her credit for as well, besides that, I think that's a great point is that I thought one thing I literally wrote this word for word in my notes. One thing I will say is why do the, the women think she owes them anything? Like, she, she, that's the whole thing at the end of the day. Like they, it's the one thing she is right about, she's not there for them. Yeah. She's just going so over the top. But usually when these people go over the top, it lasts. Like I said, it's a burnout. It's like one episode, two max. And I texted you. I texted you this. I said, I know I have a bad feeling. This episode's leading to like yeah. a cliffhanger type of ending. And not only to be a cliffhanger, we literally got it to be continued. That's yeah. so insulting. It's two hours long. Damn it, yeah. Brian. Damn yeah. it. Like, and damn production, too, because that that's, they bo- that's a it. Jersey Shore move. Yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. It's a typical Jersey Shore tea something that's going to happen at the last two minutes. And then the credits start rolling. And you're like, yeah, I'm just checking my watch. I was like, it's like eight minutes. This date's not ending because we got a three minute preview to see something we already saw about Clayton telling three girls that he loves them. And he finally had sex for the first time and like is all excited about it. Just like what a square. Um, poor one rose out. You know, we do like to talk about the rose ceremony. I'm not gonna cover everybody who made it. I'm just gonna let you know who left. Uh Sierra Lindsay, who spoke her own fate when she was talking about Shanae burying her, uh, you know, digging her yeah. own grave and then gone. And you then Jill, like you said, the workout shoes girl basically is all we knew about her. Gone. Yes, not anything else. She spoke up this, this week. She didn't speak up right before she was gone. Um, The last thing I have, Bri, is I want to give you um, a few quotes of the week. Like I've started to assemble here. Uh, Serene, she said, Clayton said, how do I look? She says, it seems like you're trying to be cool. Um, Clayton, I didn't know she threw the trophy. That that information changes things. Why do you dwell on that so much? Like who, like of all the things you kept on, like, well, you threw the trophy. It's like, no, dude. It's not the point. Um, and then I already talked about, you know, do you kiss your mom with open or closed lips? That was funny. And then the last one comes from our girl, Shanae. I'm not sorry, hoes, and fake it till you make it. Yeah. Do you think that Clayton's a robot? I think something happened to him. I think, like, I don't, I'm not even going to make any crude joke. I have plenty of jokes running through my head here that I could make. He, I just don't think he's got that much emotion, has had to have that much emotional hurt or depth or has not met a ton of people super different and had to had his range gone out there is, that much. Is Megamind the show or the movie and like the Pixar movie where the things are operating a person in like the in their head? <laughs> what is, is that is that Megamind or is that something else? Yeah, it's like you're also kind of like basic like Mars attacks type of things. Too. Yeah, but there's a, sh- a movie where like there's like a motion of e- each thing is in a, like a character. Yeah, yeah. I think. And he also reminds me of that new like computer program where they try to consolidate articles and they just spit something out that doesn't make any sense. And that's how he talks. He says something they, like she checks all the lists. Do you remember when he said that? Yeah, it's like she doesn't have he hasn't all the frenetics yet. That's on the that's going to be in the software update. Yeah. Um, OK, well, that's it for this week, guys. Like I said, we lost some nice women, but they also got to escape, which I think is really the moral of the story for them. We're still not pleased. I really don't think we can really move on with the season until we get rid of Shanae. So hopefully somehow Genevieve pulls this out like Rocky in the final round against like Drago, because right now it's not looking good. I, I think she's leaves. Oh, God, please, I God. 
Uh, I don't I, I don't know. I will. Listen, I was calm this week, people, but I will be back. I swear to God, I'm coming back hot if this happens. If that happens. The, she might make it to the next international Hawaii trip. <laughs> yeah, once he actually leaves North America, then he can call it international. I've had in my notes. I don't even care. It's just this guy. <laughs> for myself, for Brian, for Kevin, for Waleed. Peace. <laughs>